Okay, Friday night Starfies. We're having a look at the Hiriot Chisales Rosé. We don't know what the varietal is, but we're going to try and work that out in a little bit. From Spain. So, it's a nice compelling colour. It doesn't, the colour is, is quite singular. I, don't, I can't think of any rosés that I've seen recently in the New World that, that, that I've tasted that have this, it's red, which is quite unusual. On the, on, the, on, the, on the front of the nose, the approach of the nose, Getting lots of strawberries and cream, confe confectionery, you know, like that um, rock candy, you know, the, the, the rock candy you have in England with the hard, it's, it's got that kind of, all the sort of sweetish spectrum. Um, but unlike things like Turkey Flat and maybe um, Desert Heart in a good year, where you're getting layers of flavor in the nose, I'm, I'm not seeing the layers. It's kind of like a, quite a fundamentalist or a primary approach in the nose. It's nice acid structure. Again, it's quite a simple flavor profile in the mid palate, um, and it vanishes real quick. I'm not getting it's coming up short on the back. I don't think that's a question of uh, of uh, it being too cold or anything like that. It's actually just almost vaporizes in, in, in seconds when it when it comes to the actual mid palate and the, and the back palate. So it's for that reason predominantly that it's not exciting. I like the nose a lot more than I like the flavor profile of the wine. Um, but it's a simple wine and uh, just on the basic numbers, if I've got the exports and the duties and the GST right, it would probably be coming in at about $25 retail, so below the kind of New World Rosés that we come in at about $30, $35. So it's a, it's a less expensive option and at that price point it will probably find some interest, but maybe not, not for our clients anyway. So, end of the day, if you like it, just drink it. Cheers.